works. It's consistent. Uh, but the the uh, the test is to see when it's daytime. There, there's I have a skylight, and I don't really want to block that. It's gonna be five forty. Oh my god, dude. Well, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Um. Being a grown-up, there's no bedtime. I really hate how, like, red that makes my... <laughs> it's just the loading screen. But uh, I do think I need to change a little bit. Alright, we got that one. There's a Korok somewhere here. That took forever. Well, that's good. Expansion... Back in the day, expansion packs were the, gra were the greatest, weren't they? Um, really not what I was trying to do. That's interesting how it actually saved all this. How I, like, murdered everyone and, like, broke one of the balloons. Ooh, that's a really good Thunderblade. Need to get rid of the, the sword. We need to get rid of this shit. I need to go to Heitano. Something about the void made me think of a streamer who accidentally put a controller down on her keyboard and made her camera just start going up and she didn't know why and couldn't stop it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've, d I've done stuff like that before. It's like magical shortcut keys I've never seen before. I remember about back in the day, it came out in 2015. Oh, I thought it was older than that, but yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> the fact that it has an expansion pack and not like some sort of DLC is what I mean. This is a really big waterfall. This year alone has been going 10 years long. That's very, that's a very good point. We are currently seven years into 2020. There's going to be like anything useful here. I should get them just in case. I have a feeling there's a DLC chest here. We have... We're going to have to do one of them traditionally. Unless there's... Oh, that's metal, so... Alright, let's get rid of this guy. And also, he will drop more, so... You need two, usually, to, um... I don't know where this Korok is, Eva. Got all that loot! We have to, um... Do you reckon the, uh... I'm gonna drop on it. Let's start flying away. Be fine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've been killed by that before. Yeah, this is pretty worth it. Anytime there's arrows, arrows are always worth it. Fun fact, the expansion pack uh, for Postal 2 was an apology for the disaster that was Postal 3. I think I heard about that. Um, I don't know how... I don't know much about the game series, but... It doesn't really, doesn't really interest me from what I've seen of it. But, it, yeah, it seems like it's, uh, something that's a cult classic. So, that automatically means people are very critical of, like, the legacy and, like, the tone and, like, like you, gotta, you gotta respect the source material. Oh, really? It's dumb. I guess maybe we put the, the metal thing here? Oop. 
He put it up there, didn't he? Tell. Okay. Uh, it's still too far. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought that would be it. Maybe, maybe it's just not that. <laughs> How are you? I um had a wonderful day. I celebrated my mom's birthday and uh, had a nap. You know, everything was pretty good. Very good. Ate some good food. Had some Chinese food, some dumplings. I had a soup. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, it was uh, yesterday, her birthday. We've actually celebrated like three times already. <laughs> Not enough though. Here's someone's doggo balking. Come on, my doggos. does the game want me to do? Like so many chests here. All the way. Oh, that's a good one. Gotta be over here somewhere, because I don't know what to do with that platform. And it stops. Great. Thank you, game. I think the square bit is just a trash receptacle for the free chest. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. Like, it looks like you're meant to put the thing there, you know? Seems like a pretty logical conclusion. Um, probably does have a real use. Oh! It's right there, it was just hidden. I did have the right idea. Why did they put a big rock there? That was very confusing. Yeah, I knew I was onto something. I, to be fair, I don't know how I missed that. That was pretty, pretty sad. Here we go. That's up here. See, I knew, I knew something was up. So many places to go. But it's overwhelming. We'll go down. Clear this area first. I think that's where the um no. Somewhere there's the Farron Farron Shrine. I forget where it is. We'll find it. Shrine of Courage. Oh, last one. We went through those pretty fast. Got some more.
crazy one. The, the thing is, Hero's Path was always in the game. It's just they locked it behind DLC. That was, that's like literally... Apparently Nintendo gets away with on this DLC, which is really, really stupid. Like, I feel like the Hero's Path in particular is like super helpful. Even without the rest of the DLC, I feel like they should have just kept that in. Yeah. Yeah, unlocks. It was so stupid. <laughs> just unlocked. Like, they knew. It was like, oh, well, we, we knew we were going to put it in there. We'll just put it on there anyway. That's not how you do things. Have I taken a photo of you yet? I have. I have to do this the old-fashioned way. Uh, what are yours? This is probably actually a Korok. Exactly 21st century guy. They might get treated specially. Weird. Um, I don't think one's gonna be enough, but there we go. Oh, it is. Oh my god. That, that rock's gonna like murder me. Uh, sometimes this game is frustrating. Grab him. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna cheat. Yeah, I, I, I agree, 21st century guy, but I also I kind of want to, like, you know, people are excited and I'm like, man, I'm not going to chill on their parade. <laughs> I disagree with them, but, you know. Now to you, I, I wish I could be excited by uh, 3D, 3D All-Stars, but I'm not. They did, if they did some more things to it, if they, like, if they made Super Mario 64, 60 FPS and 16 by 9, maybe? If they redid the models, or if they did remade the DS thing, absolutely. Um, the Super Mario Sunshine, if that was 60 FPS, yeah, go, sure. Uh, I would, honestly, um, Super Mario Sunshine looks like the best value for that. It looks, it looks like they did the most. They did 16 by 9, they did, they did, they did lots of textures. Um, it looks really good. Um... Galaxy looks okay, but they kind of screwed up the controls. Which, you know... It's just lazy, that's the thing. There's some good things in it, but there's some, also some bad things. There's like, it's just not quite there yet for me to feel like it's... worth, worth the, worth paying for it. And like, it's a limited run, I was like, what's the point of that? Uh, did they now? Yeah, they, they did, they did a few things. They did a few good things, but it's not like, it's not good enough, in my opinion. But the, they did it in a Nintendo way, where you can see they tried. They did the, the Nintendo, but then they also completely ditched the things people actually would care about instead, you know? Where's this Korok? Are we over here? Okay. Ah. Uh, did they mess up the controller? Okay, so what people were expecting for Super Mario Galaxy. So in Doctor Mode, you're forced to use the Joy-Cons. Um, I'm pretty sure. Don't don't quote me too much on that. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can use. Well, the problem is on, on in handheld mode. Um, instead of mapping the the pointer to the right stick, like literally everyone does if they played it on emulator or something like that. They put it to the touch screen, which doesn't work very well. And there's like, obviously there's no way to do that. So you have to like, 
it just doesn't work in in portal war mode and now in uh duck mode you're forced to use the the joy cons and obviously that works it's just it's exactly like the wii oh, somehow managed to do that that was good um i don't know where that is though but it's, it, that's the thing that they did good things but it's, it's just all of it's just really half-assed and like i'm not someone who's nostalgic for any of those games because i never stopped playing them um i know i i feel like most people are excited about those games uh they never they had a GameCube, or they had an N64, and they sold it, and they haven't played those games since. Those are the people who are excited, in my opinion. That's the thing, I always play all games, so usually the remake that remakes have to be remakes or like definitive editions for me to be excited. Like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. That, um, that one looks great, because it's a full-on remake. Or the Crash Bandicoot games, or like, um, like Ocarina of Time on the 3DS, that was fantastic. That's how you do it. That's how you do a remaster. That's technically a remaster. It's still it's still the same code base. Um, but um, yeah, that's that's how when I feel like it's worth it because I have all the games already. Why do I want? I don't. It's cool playing them on the new console, but it's not really. You don't pay full price for that, <laughs> you know. Um, I've never played Sunshine either. I I feel like I need to do that. What, what, um, one, one time I was, I was really tired. Um, I actually put it up Super Mario 64. And I was like, you know what? Let's, I'm going to play this game. I'm going to 100% it. But I tried to do it like a speed run and that was bad. That was a bad idea. We need to, I'm going to play Super Mario 64 at some point and do just like a, like 100%. Which then I'll do like, um, Sunshine as well. And like all the Mario games. That'd be fun. Um, okay. Let's go on down this way. We're completely out of Korok coins. We get, um... Konami gave you more bang for the buck. Yeah, that's the thing, like, um... Activision made a good remaster, <laughs> like... It's, it's, yeah, it's weird. I love Nintendo, but I also hate Nintendo. I think, I think that's what most, most people... Most people love Nintendo, most people hate Nintendo. It's, it's like Star Wars, you can't be a Star Wars fan if you don't hate Star Wars. <laughs> As people like to say. But in reality, it's the mainstream, most people don't care. I mean, that's fine, whatever. It's hard, it's hard to take that away from them. These weapons suck for these guys. This is an unhealthy relationship. It is. <laughs> uh, that ha it it do be like that sometimes. It do be like that. I'm pretty sure there's a DLC chest somewhere here, so that's kind of why I'm checking everything. I mean, let's be honest, I'm probably gonna check everything anyway, because loot... Come on. Ice physics... It doesn't help that this, uh, ba Baron region is, like, the worst region because of the frame rate. When they, when they bring out a Switch Pro, I expect this game runs better. I would only get a Switch Pro if the Joy-Cons were completely redesigned. Um, even then, I don't know. Was that confirmed? No, it's not confirmed. I'm just, I'm just saying random shit. <laughs> Where's the, um... Was there a cork here? I don't know, like, everything's blurring together in my brain now. That's right, where's the, um, somewhere here, I think it's over here-ish, or here, it was like legit the DLC chest. Yeah, that could be it, like literally right there. What it was, oh, um, Nintendo just said they were making a new console, that's all they're doing, but th that's, uh, that's not news, because... 
literally, uh, as soon as they release every company, as soon as they release their, their new device, they immediately start working on the next one. If they didn't do that, they wouldn't be competitive. So it's like, um, yeah. <laughs> This, no, this is just a regular chest. Uh, the companies are always working on new shit. They just, they don't always say they are. I don't know why they said they were. They did. Maybe it's down here. Definitely some products here I think I've missed. Thunderstorm! Do we have that? Maybe we don't have that yet. Let's see if we, um... We do not. Oh, look at that. Look at the shiny boy. I'll keep it. Sure. Let's get... Where is he? He's not quite there yet. Oh, there he is. Giant boomerang! Is that better than our other giant boomerang? Nope. Same. Get the horn. Where are you going to drop it? We've taken a photo of this. Are you sure we've taken photos? Uh, there's the... Uh, yeah, we have. Just the, the blue one. I think it's left. Oh. Didn't even... Didn't even notice you were here. Hello. Wow, that was uh, something. Poor little guy. Gotta keep an eye out for really anything. Be down here and we just skipped it. Feel like there. Double check. like right on top of it. That's still a regular one. Hmm. This is a pretty cool area though. There's not that many like large interesting areas. Like there's lots of little small interesting areas. Like over here is pretty cool as well. Like when they do the the big the big places that are unique. Oh, 
that already. Maybe it's underneath the bridge? I wonder if we have the, um... We might even have the, the quest already. Look at the quests vlog. Um... EX. Outpost Ruins. Oh, these are the things that say you have to go here to, like, learn more. We should probably go to these areas. <laughs> That it will give us like an actual much closer location. But I do recall there being something somewhere here. It could be over at that waterfall. There as well. See that car up there. Aurelian, how's it going? Good morning. Glomps. That's, that's a word. Is that a verb? What, what does that even mean? <laughs> I'm scared to know what that even means. How's it going, bird? Tackle hugs. Oh, no. Maybe bombs. That worked. That works pretty well. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, good morning, Sirolian. Hope you slept okay. I don't know. Seem to be waking up early recently. Bombs? Well. Lamp oil, rope, bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend. 8 a.m. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh my god. Oh, blah, 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 blah. This chest is really not worth <laughs> Really not worth it. AM for Cali folks. Yes, 21st century guy mentioned that. Um, when you go in the bed, 21st century guy. <laughs> oh dear. Behind here. No! <laughs> hey, you're the boss. That's alright. I ain't your mama. I mean, I could be. Are we putting it here? You are my real dad. Yeah, dad. Right. 